Kai back with you today. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've been kind of busy um, building a new blog. Um, I'm now on WordPress and it's you can still find me under a place for Kai as well as Kai's place. So both of those work. <laughs> um, today I wanted to share with you this uh, stencil kind of mixed media card that I did. I'm saying kind of because I didn't use all the steps that one normally uses in mixed media, but I still did some things that makes it appear mixed media. Does that make any sense? Hope so. In any event, I'm using Color Burst by Ken Oliver. I'm going to be using Ultramarine Blue, Turquoise and Chartreuse for my colors. And what I first did with my stencil to prepare is, you can see the stencils had love before. Um, anyway, I uh, wanted to, I know that using the Bruchot, I'm the, inevitably going to get water in behind the stencil lines. So I applied a good spritzing of bleach, doing this outside, um, to the back of my stencil and then it, um, put it down on the watercolor paper in the hopes that it might work, that I would have a faint lines showing up from the marks of the stencil. And um, surprisingly so, it worked. So <laughs> I was pretty happy about that. And the reason for that being is because I wanted to use the color burst in these colors. Um, I uh, thought this would be maybe one of the ways that I could kill two birds with one stone, as they say. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have a bird. Oh dear. Anyway, um, so I, kind of, I let it dry. Dried it a bit with my heat gun, as you can see here. Kept the heat gun moving, though, because I don't want to warp the stencil. And uh, lo and behold, when I took the stencil off, I did have the faint lines um, from the stencil. So. I could proceed to um, paint with um, Dr. F um, Martin's uh, Bleed Proof Opaque White Watercolor. See there? I've got the lines. Yay! <laughs> so I was going to use um, a paint pen and then I thought better of it. I better use this. It's an opaque watercolor, um, but sometimes I got the colors inside the uh, jar from the the watercolor colors inside the jar and um, I picked them up and used them to add color to the parts that I was painting. So there's bits of green in the white and there's uh, bits of yellow but for the most part it is uh, white. So I did this, uh, I, in some areas I also did it in um, set like a couple of times. I went over it with the white watercolor. Um, it just needed to have a double duty put on it. Um, but for the most part, the single la layer of the color worked. Um, it's a little tedious project, but there's a lot of stencil lines in this stencil. There just happens to be so... Uh, that's why if uh, the stencil didn't have as much detail in it, then it would be another thing. But um, I wanted to do this stencil. So um, so I continue to do this and then I move on to uh, uh, die cutting the watercolor panel, which I do with um, my favorite things, wonky rectangles. Seem to match up with the wonky lines of the stencil. And we wanted to keep this all wonky. I know you're just killing yourself laughing, aren't you? In any event, um, once it was dry, I cut it with the, in my Gemini, cut it with the wonky rectangles. And then, uh, I wonder if this is ever going to end this part. <laughs> I'll be done talking and it'll still be on this part. I didn't realize it's only a 10 minute video and yet here I am with all this. Uh, here we go where I flipped over. 
Um, but it kind of shows you it's not, it's not, you don't have to be careful with it. It's just something you can be a bit loose with doing the coloring or the painting. I'm using my Escada brushes to do this, so my normal watercolor brushes. And I see there on the left hand side where I missed a spot on the video, but I did catch it in the end. So here, this is where I'm going to move on. Finally, <laughs> I am preparing a piece of uh, blue uh, cardstock to stamp the sentiment that I'm using from Gina Kay's You Make Me Smile stamp set. And it says, You Make Me Smile. And I heat emboss it with white embossing powder. And then cut the strip to go along the front of the card. So the strip is also four and a quarter wide as the card is an A2 as well. And um, I attach it with uh, um, score pal tape, souk wang tape, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, for the panel, after die cutting it with the rectangle die, I attached it to some fun foam using the uh, souk wang tape and then attach that to my card base which is looks blue in the video but it's turquoise and um, then added this sentiment on the top and uh, when I was finishing off I decided that I should add a few of those iridescent bubbles from Studio Katia um, they're really pretty I like all those iridescent um, crystals that she they have on their website um, so here's where I put on the um, fun foam on the back of the card using the Scorpel or Suk Wang whatever it's called be creative um, at uh, the website here in Canada um, But I see people call it all different kinds of names. But in any event, it's double-sided, really good tape. So, <laughs> I used my little um, misty ruler uh, to make sure I got it straight. Um, it's a good ruler for doing that because the ledge isn't so high um, on it. And then I just line it up to where it's straight on the edge of the card and that makes my strip be straight so and then I'm going to add the iridescent bubbles I use Nuvo glue to add the bubbles so you can see how the that card looks blue but it's not it's uh, turquoise which you'll see in the colors on the in the pictures on my blog i hope you'll come and visit and tell me what you think of my new blog it was a lot of work um, and i went through a lot of work to try and get the emails to send out to my subscribers and that's finally working as of um, yesterday so i think i can breathe now so it was time to do a video So there's, I've decided on the placement pretty well. I think those, um, they just kind of match with the, the lines of the card using the bubble um, gems. So that's my card to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad to be back. To visit with you all and I appreciate the time you take to watch my videos and I hope you enjoyed watching the process for this card you all have a great day and I'll see you next time bye for now